We got Emily Sisson here, uh, fourth place, 31-35 in the BAA 10K. How'd you feel about the result? Um, I'm happy with it. It was a tough day out there. It was pretty hot and humid, but um, I was hoping just to compete. And top three was my goal again, and I just missed that. But overall, I'm in a good place heading into the Chicago Marathon build-up. So, yeah. yeah. It looked like with about a mile to go, you were battling for third, but yeah. how, how'd that go? Can you talk me through that? Yep, I was leading the chase pack the first like two miles or three miles or so. And then um, someone caught me, and the last like mile or two, I was battling for third, and I got uh, I, I lost that battle, but it was a good battle, so uh, good practice. I love doing races like this. Um, we originally were hoping to run a fast uh, fast race today, but then as we got closer and saw the weather, we're like, let's just race, and uh, it's a good feel to see how I can um, test myself and stack up against them. Yeah, the, the word was that you were thinking of targeting Shalane's American record. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that you're in that kind of shape if the conditions were a bit better? I thought so, yeah. Workouts have been going well. I haven't been doing a, a lot of faster work, but all the workouts I've been doing that are 10K workouts have been going well. So we're like, let's go for it. But then we saw the weather, we're like, no, let's, let's just race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you typically like a good hot weather runner? How do you consider yourself in these conditions? Yeah, I generally think I'm pretty good in the hot weather. Um, it hasn't been actually hot out here, so it still was a bit of a shock that first hot, uh, humid day in the summer. I thought, usually being in the Northeast, we have an advantage at these races, but it's been perfect running weather the last couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, today was when it kind of turned. But usually I feel pretty good in the heat. Yeah. What do you have coming up after you? Um, I'm trying to decide. Definitely New Haven 20K before Chicago, and then maybe a couple other races before that. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe Plymouth. I, I enjoy racing, so um, if I can race, I will. Yeah. What, what's your goal in Chicago? Um, I'd like to run better than last year, so whether that's yeah, I don't know what that means. It's a good field. Um, I've heard of some of the other names in it too. It's a really good field. I think it'll be a fun race, um, even for spectators just to watch. Um, uh, and yeah, I, maybe run faster if it's good weather. Maybe just compete better. I, how, yeah, how do you view better? Because you were second, you ran an American record. So does that mean winning? Does that mean running faster time? Uh, I mean, someday I want to win a major. You never know. Sapan Hassan's in it and Bruce's in it this year. Um, uh, if they're running 214 pace, uh, I probably can do that. Uh, but you never know. In Chicago, you can get crazy weather. Um, maybe just competing well against whatever pack I'm in. I was on my own a lot in Chicago last year. And so I'd like to... Um, yeah, I'd like to just see how I can race some other people if it is, uh, I don't know, the type of race where we're a bit closer. Um, it's another hot day or crazy weather day. You never know. Hassan's doing Chicago six weeks after the World Championships, where she's, you know, she run 5K, 10K, something like that. Could you imagine doing a marathon six weeks after her track champs? I don't know. I think some people, maybe. It depends on the type of marathoner you are. I think a lot of marathoners, they either fall one or the other. They do a lot of high volume, a lot of marathon pace, and then there are some people that do really well coming off the track and doing faster, faster work. So I, it's fun. I think she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And this summer racing season, do you have anything specific, any real goals you've been targeting in terms of either performances and races or just stuff you're looking to get done in training? The last two races I wanted um, to be top three in both events. I thought that'd be competitive. Um, so yeah, just racing the people I'm against, um, maybe tr trying to win some of them. Uh, yeah, going into each race, it really depends on who's in it, what the weather's like, what the distance is. So I, I kind of just have to wait and see. And no desire to run like USA's on the track or anything like that? Um, no, bro. I mean, I do love the track, but I don't think doing the work I need to do to get ready for a 10K on the track benefits me in the marathon. A lot of the, the really fast work, um, pretty much anything under like uh, 1,200 meter things. I don't like uh, how that makes me feel when I'm doing marathon, um, marathon build. So uh, I love doing like half marathons, 20Ks, 15Ks, even like 10Ks on the road. Um, but yeah, for some reason I just don't feel as good coming off track season going to a marathon. So what's like the shortest workout you would do, or like um, in terms of rep? Last year we cut it at 1200s, and I was probably running like, I don't know if it was like 336 pace for those, to 338, so whatever that is. Um, but yeah, that's as fast as I go, because after that I felt like I was getting a little too sharp. So I like didn't want to be too sharp, too fast for a marathon, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.